What's up everybody, it's Steve Mac 25 Today I'm going to bring to you my recent re game review on a couple games that came out and pertaining to the Star Fox series. One would be Star Fox Guard and one is Star Fox Zero. For the first part, I'm moving on to Star, Star Fox Guard, which is a spinoff of Star Fox Zero. It's about uh, uh, Star Fox team member Slippy Toad. He helps his uncle Grippy, who was newly introduced to the series. And uh, throughout the game, it's it's a, def a, it's a, ta a ta uh, defense t tower stand uh, game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the type of genre, the uh, tower defense genre, where you have to defend the tower in the middle of the station uh, from invading robots that uh, uh, Slippy's uncle Grippy is, uh, protect, uh, is protecting the base and robots are coming after to destroy the, uh, the, 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 the nuclear uh, base. And if they reach that, it's game over. But I checked the game out. It's uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of uh, tower defense uh, genre games. Like it's not my cup of tea. So I can't. I wouldn't really consider that any of my favorite. Like I'm not a big fan of that. But those who are big fans of these genres, they will love to play this. They most likely would love to play this game, and uh, they will find it very interesting if that's the case. But I checked it out. It's, it's pretty much all right. You know, it's just like uh, I don't own a Wii U, but I, I checked it out a few weeks ago, and yeah, it, it's like it, it can be a little bit difficult multitasking through different screens. But once you get the gist of it, once you get the hang of it, then it, it, it becomes uh, simple to, to to go through. It's a lot of work, but uh, once you feel like they reach the middle. It's game over, but once you defeat the robots, the defense is successful. And uh, this is the first planet, Corneria. And uh, each planet, 10 main missions, which means a total of 5 planets in the game. And uh, that's a total of 50 main missions. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, it's... Corneria, Titania, Zones, uh, Fortuna, and this planet called Grippia, which uh, which uh, Grippy hails from. So that's the first world, Corneria, and each world, uh, you have to go through nine missions. Each uh, each uh, level, it's three missions, and after you beat that, you beat the boss. That's on the bottom. And once you're done with that, you progress to the next world. So, uh, and the bottom bar is on the, on the top of each level. That's for which I'm call. But that's when you move up through the ranks throughout the game. When you make high scores, then you can unlock the secret the side missions. They're 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 not really uh, canonical or anything special, but that's just to challenge yourself if you want to get better at, at this type of uh, genre game. And this game, you know, they co-released with Star Fox Guard, is Star Fox Zero, which is another reimagining of the Lilac Wars, a reimagining of Star Fox 64. You can see with the gamepad, it's in first-person view with the, this television screen. It's a third-person view, but it's more to the screen than what is in the gameplay. And it's like you gotta multitask between both screens to know what you're doing. And uh, it's just uh, basically a rehash with, with uh, several tweaks throughout the game, but same character level. So yeah, basically same characters, same enemies. Andros is still the villain. His empire they run they run rampant all over the Lilat system and ravage it on numerous planets. But they added new planets in. They eliminated some of the planets from the past Star Fox games, but the same th it's pretty much the same thing. You go from Corn Area all the way to Venom to confront Andros. But how the branching system works, uh, either by mission complete or, or mission accomplished, uh, you have to complete n numerous objectives. Like uh, defeat certain a number of enemies or certain enemies or complete certain objectives. And uh, and find different pathways within within those levels that 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 branch off to secret 
stages that are not listed on the world map, but they're accessible once you do that. And once you progress through the game and you, uh, and you make, and, and you experience the upgrades like the, the Walker and, uh, the gyro wing, the, the landmaster, which can be upgraded. Then you can go backtrack and complete certain, uh, certain areas and objectives within the past levels to unlock other levels. So yeah, this is the Walker that was supposed to be in Star Fox 2, but that game got canceled. So they're adding any remaining elements from the canceled game onto this game and uh, try 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 to make it like like a based off the original game, but try to make it more modernized. And uh, they did they try to make it, the game feel more fresh, even though it's a rehash of the original events. You can see the gameplay right there. I mean, on, on foot, on foot uh, gaming compared to Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault. Here's another element they added for uh, for mobility. I'll show you in a second. And this is the Gyro Wing, another vehicle from the uh, Great Fox deployed this to Fox to use for stealth missions. And from that, he can hover, uh, descend, and, and, and um, uh, deploy a robot called Direct Eye to, to, to navigate to small nooks and crannies and, and, and collect any metals or rings. It's been kind of useful and also trigger uh, uh, computers to, to, al to alter uh, any enemies or unlock open doors and, and, and uh, pathways. It's going to be kind of useful. That's the only useful thing about that, but it can be kind of uh, dragging. So overall, it's been 19 years since the last great Star Fox game, Star Fox 64, on the N64 and Nintendo 3DS was released, but it's time for a new area of Star Fox with Star Fox Zero on the Nintendo Wii U. And as much as this new game pays homage to the Nintendo 64 era of Star Fox, it's not content to rely simply on nostalgia. Instead, it's intent on charting its own course on its own console. And that new course is destined to have a blend of fans and haters. This is Star Fox and then it's not. It's classic challenging old school gaming unless you think it's frustrating or confusing. Either way, Nintendo doesn't back down from its aims in this new Star Fox era. And if you dare to play this game, you'll have to embrace its unique and sometimes frustrating brand of shooting. This is the Star Fox game that you play if you can appreciate a stiff and sometimes enjoyable challenge. The, ma the ma major adjustment comes in the fourth use of the Wii U gamepad. The beauty of the classic Star Fox formula was that your aiming reticle wound up tied to the movement of your R wing, a natural arrangement that made targeting easy. It felt in intuitive to move and rapid fire at enemies from the very first moment you picked up the N64 controller. This time around, there's a learning, a learning curve and it's steep. This feels natural and intuitive, hearkening back to those old Star Fox 64 days, but your aiming reticle is now tied to the motion controls on a gamepad. And this is instantly confusing. Star Fox Zero does this so that you can occasionally have to look around at the gamepad screen, which includes cockpit mode, a first-person depiction of flying action. At best, it will take take you a while to learn these new mechanics. You can often muddle through the on-rails levels of Star Fox Zero and almost ignore the cockpit view, relying on instinct and feel to aim the reticle, or simply not aiming at all and piloting your r much as you did in the classic game. It's a bit clumsy, but effective to play this way, and it lets these levels feel largely as fulfilling as you expect. But playing this way prevents you from learning the new fundamentals, and your weaknesses often wind up exposed when you enter all-range all range mode. There is an all-range mode that you traverse freely and dog fight in small areas, completing a variety of objectives, sometimes facing bosses. No matter what anyone says, Star Fox has always been a game about being in the moment. 
that feeling of sitting behind the controls of a fighter craft, blasting foes away and feeling awesome because of it, whether that be on rails, buzzing through uh, numerous planets, environments, or going toe-to-toe dog fight style, particularly fit thematic arenas of sorts. Heck, Star Fox 64, at, or even known as Lilac Wars, had a penultimate mission in Area 6 remains one of the series' most iconic levels for the way encapsulated that genuine feeling of invincibility and its tense uh, Kamikaze moments. It's clear right from the off that Star Fox Zero wants to be heralded in, in as much the same light as adding something intricate to the series. Yet at the same time, bizarrely, it means so much on the N64 heydays. It's hard not to bring up the, the dreaded nostalgia when discussing its logic and thinking here. That's not to say nostalgia has some kind of immediate death sentence. When played right and implemented carefully enough, it can help elevate the player's emotions as well as spark an even greater, if aged, level of immersion with past endeavors. Sadly, Star Fox Zero doesn't even make it to be critiqued on its failure to capitalize on its insistent no- nostalgia and instead takes it more with a crutch than anything. Whether that be fighting a boss with a familiar looking ship or watching the scene for scene recreation of the game's end credits, there's a continual, continually learning sense of not just overindulgence with what came before, but a generally misguided understanding on why nostalgia works. And mechanically speaking, the controls, at least in this context, greatly benefit when caught amidst the most hectic of these moments. One of Star Fox Zero's notable features is the ability to shift focus from the series' frontal view to a new, cinematic as panoramic mode where aiming is done on a gamepad while your R wing turns and sways through the skies and stretches of space space alike. Admittedly, such shots are nice to watch. I admire Marissa when the scene unfolding is of, say, two fleets engaging one another, or relies simply on a classic one-on-one cat and mouse chase between you and a rival faction. It's not a Star Wolf. It's all brought forth into full view on the TV. Better still, the fact this mode allows you to lock onto nearby enemies with a simple tap of a shoulder button gets rid of the frustration of flying aimlessly in hope of catching sight of your previous target. Despite all these pressing and quite glaring faults, this is a good, there is a good game and pleasant experience to be salvaged from out of Star Fox Zero's momentary, lofty set pieces and short lived moments of daring adventure. A lack of notable uh, multiplayer outside co op and a seemingly over before it be- even began main campaign will leave many feelings shortchanged. But it's Nintendo's insistency on reliance on so much on the past and pushing that to the forefront of what the game objectively offers. That will linger much longer in the memory than what the occasional fun in the cinematic change in perspective or a particular mission's progression will be will bring. Reused dialogue is one thing, but simply altering a solitary word does not equate to change. Star Fox Zero is a good game to play, and it's one many will get stuck into through some frantic attempt to rack up an even greater high score. But just don't be surprised if that franticness ceases short of what you may have initially come to expect. Well, that's that for today. I uh, gotta say, I, 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 I'm a big fan of the Star Fox series and experience in this game. Just left me all inspiring. I, I can imagine if I played this game, I'd be a little frustrated with the motion controls and the gyro controls. I mean, I don't have a Wii U, but I can imagine how people feel about it. But anyhow, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please, please feel free to comment under my video. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe if you, if you want. And I, I thank you once again for taking the time to look at this and uh pretty soon i'm going to begin let's play videos so uh, if you're interested feel free to check on my channel in the near future about it and uh i'll see you again sometime either later today or tomorrow or somewhere somewhere during the week take care